All right, so let's do a quick review of all the topics we covered in that section. So we got a Houdini project set up. All right, and I showed you more of the manual way of setting up a Houdini project. They have a, a project, you know, creation wizard basically inside of Houdini, but I find that it's a little cumbersome to work with. So I usually and generally just go and set up my own project folders, you know, because it's like four folders. It doesn't take that long. Uh, and then we went and got a Unity project set up. And then we took a look at how to import and set up the universal render pipeline in a manual way so that way we don't have all the starter content that we have to go through and delete um, this is really great so i now i you know basically have control over the universal render pipeline super awesome and we have shader graph and all the other bells and whistles imported uh, then we went and created the pdg hda so it's really just kind of the the shell the foundation of everything at least our system is up and running and then we took a quick look at using the PDG asset link inside of Unity. So we are ready to go to start creating the components of our pipeline. All right, so the PDG, remember, top network and PDG is a pipeline tool that allows you to create a pipeline that rolls through a bunch of different steps. That way you're not having to do it manually. So in, in regards to Houdini Engine, this allows us to basically have one HDA that will run a bunch of other HDAs and output the results for us. So we're not having to drag and drop each HDA manually, right? So it's a great way to control your pipeline, especially when you start working with large levels and lots of assets. All right, so with that, let's move on to the next section.